Hi everyone! Today we're going to look at how you can have your students draw or dictate on your Microsoft Team assignments. And so how we're going to do that is we're going to do that with either Word, PowerPoint, or a OneNote page assignment. This is great if your students are on a device with a pen and you want to leverage that capability. Or maybe your students struggle with typing on a keyboard or need an accommodation where they can use their voice to type their assignments. Drawing is also great for math class as it can be difficult to type out math solutions and also for students to show their work. So instead now students can actually draw their responses just like they were writing on paper. So first, first to check this out, let's go over to Teams and you're going to go to the Assignments tab inside of a team and we need to create an assignment. And so uh, I'm just going to title this assignment, Draw and Dictate. And um, that's just my example. You will create this assignment, name it whatever you want, as well as, even though I'm going to add a Word, a PowerPoint, and a OneNote page assignment, you're going to just choose which one of those you prefer for the particular assignment you're going to assign. So the next thing I need to do is add a resource. The resource is going to be those documents in which we're going to demonstrate drawing and dictating. Now, what you can do is you can add these assignments by either uploading them from your OneDrive, adding it from your class notebook. You can also upload a Word document or a PowerPoint from your device. What I'm going to do for this demo is I'm actually going to show you how you can also just start off with a blank document. Um, without having to, you know, upload anything. And so I can, you can add a blank Word, PowerPoint, Excel, or OneNote page. A uh, OneNote page is actually a little newer, so if you're watching this, you're saying, oh, I never saw that before. Check it out. This is actually fairly new. So I'm just going to add a Word document first, and I'll just call this uh, Word Drawing. I'm just going to say, I'll say Draw and Dictate. All right, and then what you need to do, remember, in order for students to have their own response is you're going to go over to these three dots here, and you're going to say students edit their own copy. So that's very important when you're assigning work and you want the students to have the file, be able to work on it, and submit it to you. And I'm going to go over and I'm just going to create another file, new file again I'm selecting. I'll do PowerPoint this time. So I'm going to call this PowerPoint, draw, dictate. And we'll attach that. Same thing, I need to select students will edit their own copy. And let's go over to add a OneNote page. And this one's a little bit different because it's not creating, it's not giving them a blank file. Instead, this is going to allow you, without pre-setting this up in OneNote, create a page. And so it's essentially a blank page that you're going to title. All right, so that's all set. So then what you see now is you got to give the page a name. I'm just going to use the same kind of example that I'm using here. And then you need to select a location where this page, the teacher version, is going to exist. So I'm just going to choose the teachers only section. This is where I typically put pages. And then I only have, because this is just a demo account I'm using, um, I only have this one tab there, the default tab that's set up. So you set up where you want it to be stored, the teacher version. And then the next page is where do you want it to be distributed in the students' notebooks? So I'm going to select, um, I'm just going to select homework for this example. All right, so now um, each student will get a, their own copy of the Word document, their own copy of the PowerPoint, and then this OneNote page will be distributed to their notebook. Of course, you can identify points and all that other stuff. So check out some of my other videos if you want to see more about how to you know, set up assignments. Um, in this video, I'm just really going to show off how to draw and dictate. So let's assign that. And um, so that's assigning now. And now what I'm going to do is let's go over to the student view. All right, so let's grab the student view here. I got my student account. And um, let's go into the class. And we're going to notice an assignment. And so we have this assignment here, Draw and Dictate. That was the one I just created. And notice we got Word, PowerPoint, and OneNote. We got each of the files there.
um, that we've assigned to the student. So let's check out Word first and let's see the capabilities. And so um, if you haven't seen these assignments, how it works before, it just opens up inside of Teams in the online version of the tool. So for instance, this is a Word document. And so I can come over here and now I have my Word document. I can edit it and it will save and I can submit it to my teacher. So inside of, of Word, we can go over, let's check out Dictate first. Dictate allows me to speak and it's going to type for me. So again, students struggling with a keyboard, something like that, you can use this Dictate capability. So the, the button's right over here. You're going to need to allow the microphone in the browser. And once it is working, it will start to type as you talk. Things like period, work, and it will automatically add those when you tell it to, exclamation point. Don't you think this is cool, question mark? And so notice I'm able to add punctuation as, as I speak and uh, it creates sentences. So some of my students really like this and it helps them a lot for uh, writing tasks. And notice after I click that dictate button, this toolbar does show up, which allows me to turn dictation on and off. You can also do it from this button over here in the toolbar. There are some other settings, such as the language that you can select for this. Um, you can have it automatically add punctuation instead, which can sometimes be, um, you know, a little glitchy. Um, but essentially, if you do a long pause, it's going to end the sentence for you. Um, so you can check out some of those things. If you're a foreign language teacher, maybe you want to have assignments and you have the students dictate, but they change the language to French or to Spanish or whatever language you're teaching, and then they, they can dictate that way. Um, number of things that you can do. Your creativity is at your fingertips here. So when it comes to drawing, you can draw in Word documents, but you cannot in um, Word online for whatever reason. So if you wanted to, in a Word document, um, have your students draw. I do suggest using the other two types, PowerPoint and OneNote, if you want to do drawing, but I just want to show you that it is possible. So if you open the desktop version of the of the app, so it's just opening up the assignment for me, so I can drag it over here. So um, in for, for those of you that this is your first time seeing that, you can click right at the top, open in desktop app, and if it's installed on the device, if they're on a Windows or a Mac, computer uh, mainly, uh, it will open up the document there and they can type and it syncs with the assignment page still. Um, so notice it, it will still show saving capabilities. So notice here's my work. But now that I'm on in the desktop version, we do have this drawing capabilities. This may need to be turned on. It may not, drawing may not show up by default. Um, typically it does if you're on a touchscreen device, but if you're not, you may need to go over to the um, account settings um and enable it so look up uh, how to do that if you need to it's actually under options i'm sorry not account settings options and then uh you may need to turn this on customize ribbon and you go down and you enable draw if uh if it's not showing up and you do need it so uh once we you do that you can select to draw and it works as you would expect it to and you have highlighting also, which is really nice. So maybe if you have a reading passage in a Word document and you'd like students to annotate it by drawing and underlining things, this may be a, a great thing that you'd like to do. Um, so let's check out. So I'm, I'm going to close out of that. Let me just show you also some of these capabilities. So if I close out of this and go back to the assignment, hopefully my drawings have saved. Most of the time it does. Um, the highlight did, the drawing did. So notice how that synced over um, to the actual assignment. And so you would be able to open this and, and view it, integrate it. So that worked. Now let's check out PowerPoint. Let's check out some of the capabilities for drawing and dictation there. So um, here is PowerPoint. What's great about PowerPoint is yes, we can dictate. So you click into a text field and you have your dictation here, just as you would expect it, similar to, to Word. One of the things I want to notice, I want you to note, as of recording this video, there is a bug with this. It wasn't always there, where it's not allowing access to the microphone if you open it in Teams. So what you need to do is, 
if you need your students to dictate or use the microphone inside of PowerPoint, you need to, I closed out of that view, you need to have them actually open it in PowerPoint online or PowerPoint desktop. They can open it in PowerPoint online and it will work as I'm gonna demo in this instance. But just note that um, for whatever reason, it's not allowing the microphone access in, when it's opened inside of Teams. I'm gonna report that issue to Microsoft and hopefully it's resolved. So let's open it online. All this that does when you select that at the three dots, open online, is it opens it in a new tab for you in the web browser. Now it's opened in full PowerPoint online. I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna select dictate. And now that allow microphone uh, prompt does come up, which is good. I am typing on a PowerPoint, period. And you can stop it and notice now it has typed on my PowerPoint presentation using my voice. So um, we have those that capability also. Now for drawing assignments, I use PowerPoint a lot because we have separate slides for different drawing things, etc. And all you need to do is go over to the draw tab. The drawing tools are available in the online version. So right inside of Teams, let me um, just to show you that it's available in Teams. This should have saved, says saved. If I close out of it, and I open it inside of the Teams version, now embedded in Teams, it should have synced my work. It did. And uh, I can go over to Drawing Tools, and I can also draw in the version that's embedded in, uh, in Teams here. So I go over, and you, can, and you can draw. You can select the tools and change the colors, and uh, you, you should be able to draw right on the PowerPoint. So if you need students to do something like circle certain things in the PowerPoint, or draw arrows, uh, maybe diagram something, PowerPoint's really great for that. You have your image, and you have students draw and do that. You could also insert reading passages and do the same thing with highlighting and stuff, and now they don't need the desktop version. You would just do it in a, in a PowerPoint. Um, so that's how you can do it with that. And our last one is OneNote. OneNote has the most capabilities, some available in the online version, others you may need to open the app. And this is why people really love uh, OneNote because it has really great uh, additional features to just your normal um, typing in a document type of thing. So, um, if I go over, um, notice we have our dictation right on the main page. Wow, comma, I am talking and it is typing in OneNote, period. And notice it added that comma there. So in all, all three programs, that dictation should work the same. So you'll notice that's there. And I can go over to draw. And of course I can draw and a little smiley face. And so you have some of the drawing tools there. And what I really like about uh, OneNote, this is available in the PowerPoint desktop app, but just not in online, is I can insert an audio clip also to OneNote. So um, if you want students to record audio, again, I'm thinking about my um, uh, language teachers here, you know, where they want them to actually speak and, and do a submission. Um, you can do that um, with OneNote very easily. Audio, and then you can uh, you can re just record uh, in here. I this works a lot better in the app, um, so you may want to do it there. Notice it started the recording for me for whatever reason immediately, um, but I can I am recording an audio clip, and then you can click on these audio clips, and if you go to the audio tab, you can actually play them. I am recording an audio clip. So really great for, you know, if you need your students to speak a response, OneNote's great for that. It allows that. Um, again, PowerPoint does allow it, but it's not in the online version. You have to have them have the desktop app. So OneNote might be, if you need audio clips, you may want to do that. Let's check out OneNote if you use the app, has a couple really cool features when it comes to drawing uh, but they're only available in the app, so I want to show that quick. So let's um, open up the OneNote app. And um, so this page just opened up for me. And I'm going to go over the drawing now. I'm in the app. And um, notice you, you do, you know, it looks a little bit different, but we have some additional options over here of ink to shape 
into text and math. And those are really cool. So for instance, um, math, if we draw um, an equation, and I'm going to do something very simple, 2 plus 2. But you can do your algebraic equations, etc., equals, and it will solve this for us. In order to do that, so you can write out math problems, and then it will solve it. It, it we can do it a number of different things um, with these math equations. All you need to do is you get this lasso tool, and you draw around it. And once you've highlighted and selected an equation, you can click this math, and it notice it, it converts it over to a math equation, and uh, there are some actions you can do. So for instance, evaluate, solve it, 4. 2 plus 2 is 4, as we know. Try this, if you're a math teacher, try this with some more advanced equations. It works really well and it's pretty cool. Um, and it's a great thing to show your students, um, you know, solutions, uh, steps. And um, you can use this Generate Practice Quiz. And there's really great videos about using this. So if you're a math teacher, check out some of those videos um, and making some really cool assignments in OneNote. The other thing you can do is you can do ink to text. So um, I can actually convert this to be actual text, typed out text. Um, and you can do this with anything you type. So I'm just going to say ink to text and notice it converted that for me. I have no idea where I put the three there, but maybe it picked up on something. Usually it does a really good job. But um, for instance, let me uh, write a word. One note. And uh, I can select this and then ink to text. One note. So it converts that. So uh, if you're handwriting, uh, you're, let's say you're really good at handwriting, you have a touch screen, um, you can actually convert your notes to text by using that tool. So um, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions for me, leave me a comment in the comment section below. If you have any other topics you'd like me to cover, again, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to click that subscribe button so you can check out more videos by me.